Hello friends and followers. In today's video, we'll tear down this best copy of Apple Watch Series 6 called as HW12. This is the 40mm watch and company claims this watch has a heart rate sensor. Let's find out how true they are. Let's first remove the straps. They have pretty much managed to make same design from back as series 6. I have also made a teardown video of FK88 and the link is in the i button. Do consider watching that video as well. Let's heat up the screen and loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen. Gently insert the prying tool and slice between the layers of adhesive. The architecture of this watch is different than other watches I have reviewed. This is 40mm watch and they have sandwiched battery and motherboard on top of each other. Which is not a great idea because if motherboard heats up, it will directly affect the battery. To remove the display, we'll have to first remove the battery and there are two LEGO connections for the display. As usual, the display is normal LCD screen and there is some gap between the display and the touch digitizer. There is still one connection for the crown button which needs to be released. They have not used screws to hold up the motherboard in place, instead they have used lock mechanism. This is maybe to reduce the overall cost. I would say they have packed the motherboard very tight 
and it's difficult to insert my prying tool also. If the lock breaks, the motherboard will not fit tight in its position. This is the battery with capacity of 180 mAh which is ok for 40mm size. This is the microphone used for calling and voice assistance. These are the two wires to increase the Bluetooth range. They work as antenna. The small chip which you can see is the flash processor programming chip used to read and write. And this chip is processor with integrated Bluetooth capability. This is the main speaker and this is the vibration motor for haptic feedback. As you can see these are the four red LED which turns on while measuring the heart rate. The black unit which is seen in center is combined unit of green LED which is on left and a proximity sensor which is on the right. Yes, you heard me right. They have not used a chill heart rate sensor and used a proximity sensor. What proximity sensor does is that when any object comes near to it, it gives signal to green LED light and it starts blinking brighter. And after that, the watch will show some random ECG numbers on the display. Normally in the old models of copy Apple watches like W26, T500, K8 and many more, they didn't use this sensor. So even without wearing the watch on wrist, after a few seconds, it would show some random numbers. So to rectify this problem, they used a proximity sensor. So when you wear the watch, only then it will show some random numbers, which will not be your actual heart rate. In my next video, I'll compare this watch with original watch and show all the fitness tracking differences like heart rate, pedometer, GPS tracking and see how accurate this watch is. So stay tuned for my upcoming videos. If you guys like my video and found it useful, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.